Jesus, you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, Almighty God. Your name is far above all of the names, Almighty God. We choose to worship you this evening, King of glory. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. Oh, blessed Redeemer. We acknowledge of your greatness even this evening. Thank you for this fire you've brought us, Almighty God. You are Ebenezer. You've been with us. You continue being with us. You have carried us this far. And we have faith of taking us even further. This evening we choose to acknowledge you. That you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That you are the Alpha and the Omega. The first, the beginning, and the ending, the last. Oh, we thank you, Father, even this evening. Have your way, King of glory. Have your way in our hearts. Even for those who are physically here, who are virtually uh, joining us, have your way. Reach and every hearer. Let every hearer receive this anointing. The anointing that destroys every yoke and removes every burden. Mighty God, I choose to believe that by the end of this service, somebody's life shall be transformed, shall be changed, shall be delivered, Almighty God. For in your presence there is fullness of joy and there is liberty, King of glory. We thank you, Jehovah God. Have your way in Jesus' name, God. Have your way. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the worship team. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless God. We bless God. Today is the fourth day of our prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Are you excited? Hallelujah. Yeah, maybe when we began, some, some, somebody was saying, I now really, really cooler December. Will I be able? Congratulate yourself. This is the fourth day. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We have one more day. Hallelujah. One more day tomorrow. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. For those of us who are joining online, uh, Karibu Sana, uh, to this service on this day, Thursday. Uh, and the Lord bless you even as you've chosen to engage with us in this service. I'm totally engaging with us in the service um, uh, by writing comments and, and participating, but also uh, in giving. 
we are also uh, welcome to participate in giving. Amen. Amen. You can have your seats. Turn to your neighbor and just tell that neighbor it's good to see you in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know it's a sacrifice on a weekday evening that you are here. Amen. The Lord rewards you. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to that neighbor and tell that neighbor there is a word for you this evening. Ah, hallelujah. Are you glad? Praise the Lord. You know, throughout the day, I've just been telling my wife, I, what if I'm done preaching? What will I say to these people? <laughs> hey, and, and my wife was just there smiling. Because he knew, she knew what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And indeed, simple you ask. Hallelujah. We don't craft messages. Amen. We don't psychologists that we look at how, how are people? Huh? What kind of what do they need? No, 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 no. We depend on the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and I have chosen, huh? praise the God, I have chosen in my ministry to be speaking revelations. Praise the Lord. To be speaking the Rema word of God. There is so much you can teach from this word. Praise the Lord. But the Rema is a specific word for a specific person for a specific time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And people are, are, are tired of gimmicks. Hallelujah. They want to hear God. Hallelujah. Amen. And I got a word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 35. And I won't be long with you. I won't be long with you. So, hallelujah. You just sit tight. Hallelujah. Today we're going to finish either before or by 8. Amen. So, uh, the book of Mark, the gospel according to Mark chapter 4, verse 35. This is what the word of God says. At the same day, when the evening was come, that's evening, when evening had come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. Hallelujah. I know as we began the year, uh, we'll be talking about um, this is a year of being deliberate, this is a year of making declarations and decreeing. Amen. And uh, the Lord will just miss it to my heart uh, that I need to tackle something at the beginning so that it doesn't catch up with you during the year and you lose track. Amen? Yeah, because uh, as you're making declarations and decreeing, we don't make declarations and decreeing out of thin air, out of just, um, we're just taking over and they say, it. no, 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 no. As we pray, as we engage in the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit drops a word in you. That word is, a, is what you're going to use to speak and say. Praise God. Hallelujah. We don't operate, um, the, uh, uh, Paul said in the, in, in the Bible, uh, we don't punch uh, uh, the air. Yeah? Uh, a, 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 a skilled boxer who will hit the target, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are skilled. Amen. We have been trained here. Uh, the messages that come from this pulpit have been high quality messages. I am sure you can attest to that. And for those who have been writing notes and following the, 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 the preachings, those who go back to Facebook uh, uh, live, those who go back to YouTube to watch these messages and write down what they are receiving from these messages, they have learned something and they are growing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And one aspect about growth. When you are a baby, certain things you are allowed to do. Okay? Like crying all the time. Whenever you are feeling hungry, you can cry and you will be attended to. Whenever you are um, feeling uh, hot or cold, you can cry and you will be attended to. Huh? Uh, as a baby, I mean, that was naturally accepted. But can you imagine now that you are grown and when you're hungry, you start crying. <laughs> in, the, in CBD town. And you're walking and it's lunchtime. Now you do. And you go to a corner and say, Will anybody attend to you? 
This is a grown man. Why is he crying? <laughs> Hallelujah. So there are certain things you left when you are, as you, as you are growing. They, 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 they leave you. Praise the Lord. But they, uh, when you are a baby, certain things you are allowed to do. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why when we say this is a year of great growth, uh, brethren, it's not business as usual. Hallelujah. The things that you are allowed to do last year, this year, brethren, you better grow from them. Hallelujah. What am I talking about? I'm talking about sin that is in tangles. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says if you know uh, if you know what uh, the right thing to do and you don't do it, that's in gems, uh, it is sin to you. Hallelujah. You have been taught of the word. You know what is right and what is wrong. Hallelujah. Certain things you avoid, you keep away from you, you avoid them. Praise the Lord. Yeah? Sin in matters of speech, sin in matters of action, yeah? sin in matters of uh, omission. Not doing the right thing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All this, you can easily grow from them. Why am I starting this way? Because I want us to remove the, 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 the simple things first. So that we can tackle the hard ones. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a high time you make up your mind. Certain relationships, you better put a knife to it and severe them. Hallelujah. You may love that person, you may like that person, but they are not with you in your journey of faith. They are not with you in your, in your destiny journey. Praise the Lord. And it's a high time for you to realize, yeah? it's, a, it's a high time for you to re-evaluate uh, uh, your friends, re-evaluate your company, re-evaluate the, the time you, you spend. Hallelujah. We've got 24 hours in a day. How do you spend that day? You need to uh, come to a, a meeting with yourself. Yeah? And search your soul. And reevaluate. All these steps you've been taking. It's important, brethren. For as far as we can understand, where are we? Uh, in the corporate world, we do SWOT analysis. Whereby you analyze your strengths, your weaknesses, and you look at the opportunities and the threats. Okay? Even in your own personal work with God, Analyze yourself. Praise the Lord. Don't wait for a prophet to come and say, uh, I can see Joroge. Joroge, you know what you did. Come and repent. No, no, no. You don't have to wait. Don't be sorry because you got caught. Ha. Hallelujah. Get away now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't wait. If, if you get a point, more than a point out, you, you did sin. Eh? No, 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 no. Before it reaches there, you know. Repent. And repenting, He's not just saying sorry and you continue doing the same thing. No, 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 no. Repenting means what? 180 degrees. You turn to the opposite direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the, the part of sin, in matters of speech, in matters of actions, in matters of omissions, please, those are things, reevaluate your life and look at the time you are spending. Who are you spending with? The, the things you are thinking. What are you thinking uh, through? Uh, I, I remember, uh, Pastor, is it yesterday or the other day, he said something very, very uh, profound. He said, the moment, I think it's the other day, the moment you, you, you make testimonies of God, your meditation, you are filling your mind with the testimonies of God. There is no room for these other things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, this uh, scripture, it is when um, Jesus, after um, ministering to crowds and uh, speaking parables, he just felt in his heart to we go the other side. And he told the disciples uh, very clearly, let us pass over and to the other side. It was a sure word. Let us pass over to the other side. The same way God is uh, giving you words to speak for declarations, for decreeing. You are hearing and you know this is God and you are declaring. Okay? You are declaring that uh, this year, every day of this year, I shall live a healthy life. You are declaring that by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. 
I, I, and you declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The temple of the Holy Spirit. It shall not, it's not permitted to fall sick. You, you declare those things. And yet, before the first month ends, that things symptoms. We declare, I have a debt-free life. And then, you're bombarded by financial obligations that you're not prepared for. All of a sudden, the landlord I'm increase rent. Nakume kumeka rent yako kando, rent yako ya 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 four k kumeka, and the and the landlord is saying, ah ah, this year in five thousand, and they're wondering where do I get the one thousand from? And you've been declaring, <laughs> praise the Lord, hallelujah. Because let's let's look at what happened to this um uh, the, the, the this team, the Jesus and his uh, and and his team. After he said it. And the Bible records there were other ships with him. Pa, hallelujah. And where they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. So the one thing, as you're declaring, kuna wata na kuona, the people are looking up, uh, up, up, up to you. And they are hearing what you are saying. There are neighbors who are hearing what you are saying. There are colleagues at work who are hearing what you are saying. Hallelujah. There are witnesses around you. So you, they weren't alone. There were other people who were with them. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship. So it was now full. And Jesus was in the hinder, the hinder part, the rear part, the back part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. Imagine, he was asleep. All this chaos. <laughs> Hallelujah. All this chaos. People have been trying to, to, to uh, explain this by saying that the boat of uh, those days, there was a, a, um, a lower cabin and an upper deck. Uh, so Jesus was in the lower cabin, so the water had not reached him. No, 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 no. The Bible clearly says he was at the back part of the ship. Hallelujah. And if the storm had arisen, <laughs> it means the water was entering the ship. But he was in a deep sleep. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's some, there's some part in the Bible that says God gives his beloved sleep. It's something that can grab it. Praise the Lord. That's a promise. God gives his beloved sleep. Come on, Kulala. Declare it. Praise the Lord. If your children have a problem sleeping, declare it. Praise the Lord. If you have a newborn who keeps on crying at night and maybe you are you are, you are tired, you are at work, declare. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Declare. Hallelujah. That word is better than Preton. Amen. So that's a uh, detour. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And uh, and they awake him. So they had to go wake him up. Imagine all the chaos. You know God can give you peace. Can give you a deep sleep in the midst of chaos. Hallelujah. God can do it. Amen. And said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? So that's the first reaction. Then he says to Pata we are noticing all this hulabalu. And yet we have a warning. He don't care. They didn't believe that he was asleep. They didn't believe that he didn't hear. He didn't, he didn't see these things. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? It, they, if you look at their reaction, they already assumed. That Jesus and a Jew, like any other Jew, and Alala, Kwanini, Kwanini and Alala. Carest thou not that we perish? Eh? We may declare that I have a dead free life, and as you're walking to your uh, to your apartment, to your flat, Mama Mboga doya na kubodja na kumbi. Eh, ile deni ni aje na kuna na ibaoka na kuskia. Wait, Kwanini. Johnny, I thought you have been declared you have a dead free life. Funny, what happened? What, how will you react there? He's <laughs> just saying, hey, Mungu, unona hey, Bugani. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today you are getting your answer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he arose. So he, he did respond to them. So he did care. Hallelujah. So the Lord cares. The Lord responds to you. 
we are serving a living a responding God. What an idol. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was great calm. Hallelujah. This picture is a picture of darkness transformed into light. There was no gray area. It wasn't like at the, uh, maybe the mechanisms of monsoon uh, winds and uh, no, 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 no. Or, or, the, or the tide. Uh, you start explaining. There was no explanation. This was a pure miracle. Praise the Lord. It was like black and white. Because the Bible said there was great calm after he spoke. Praise the Lord. So sometimes you may declare things and the contrary faces you. What do you do? You declare uh, and decree certain things in your house and the contrary takes place. What do you do? You declare that this is a, 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 this home is a home full of love. We are, we, are, we, are, we are those that are serving God. We are free from drugs. And then the following day, you are hearing that uh, you are being told that your son what do you do? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you stop decreeing? Do you stop uh, doing what you've been doing and start lamenting and, uh, and resenting God or complaining or just have a kikao? Utengeneze kikao ya ku malalamishi kwa Yesu. Malalamishi kwa Holy Ghost. Eh? Kwani unafanya nini mimi? Mimi kwa nini unaniabisha? Kwa nini? Eh? Kwa nini? Eh? Why did I, did I have to say those things? Why? Eh? And then you stop coming to church. Ah, watu wanaongea uongo. Nene are you going to react that way? Ah, this is a year of growth, brethren. The things you used to do that when you are rebuked you run away. Ha. No more, praise the Lord. It's only a fool who, when rebuked, he runs away. He, 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 he takes offense. But the wise, when rebuked, learns from it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The more you are rebuked, the, 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 the more you should give your service to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let a man stop you from the kingdom. At the, your church... Paka brethren come to your, to your house to plead with you. Ni nini si ukuje tusamehe. Ni nini kuja. We need your fellowship. Bado nakata. That was last year brethren. Hi. Ha, if only you knew what I am sensing in my spirit. Shaka. It is heavy on me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a year like no other. Hallelujah. No more babying. No more babysitting people. <laughs> Hallelujah. You better grow. If you miss your seat in church, is enough reason for you to go to another church. Let it be so. Enda. Praise the Lord. You better learn from this. Hallelujah. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? Hey. Okay. That statement is very heavy. Because the situations and circumstances physically, the things you could see, the things that you are perceiving as the reality, were all showing contrary things. Fearful things. Things that can, can kill you. Things that can uh, put you under. Things that can humiliate you. Huh? And yet, the first thing Jesus asks, he said unto them, why are you so fearful? My goodness. Huh? I'm sure part of you will say, Ay, kwani ukuona? Yes, kwani nyaje ukuona? <laughs> Did you see? The water is coming onto the boat. You are to sink. Didn't you see? Hallelujah. Why did he say that? Because 
he knew what he has invested in them. Hallelujah. And the Lord knows what he is what he's investing in you. He knows you. Praise the Lord. And the things that you may be going through now or you are about to go through, he trusts that you are going to go through them victoriously. Praise the Lord. Remember one thing, brother. We are all under processing. We are being processed. We are, we are, the Bible says that when we shall see him, we shall be like him. Aye. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are being processed, brethren. And the Lord can give you, when you are praying, can give you an answer as yes or no or wait. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's not a yes, yes thing every time. Because he has the bigger picture. Hallelujah. You see, for us, we have the, this small picture and we pursue that which we know. That's why he says it's by faith. They just shall live by faith. They just shall walk by faith. Yes, because uh, of why? Because when you're, st- when you're, when you're, when you're walking, uh, you cannot see the whole path. The path may be winding like this, but you are seeing the immediate. So you are trusting God for the next step. You're trusting God for the next step. That's by faith. Praise the Lord. And you want to know the whole big picture. Because for some of us, if you are to be shown the whole big picture, you run away. But because you have faith with God, take this uh, uh, picture of a, of, of a young girl with a lamp. You know this lamp? See, Koroboy. See, Koroboy is a... Is a this lamp is a nyumbani. See, torch, lamp. Yeah? And then you're walking. Uh, the, the girl is walking at night. Maybe she wants to go to the pit latrine outside. And she's walking with it. What happens? Where the, the light will shine is where she'll be stepping. See you? She'll be stepping towards the direction of the of that uh, of that uh, toilet. That light will only shine the path. Hajui what is on this side. Hajui what is on the other side. Hallelujah. But uh, she just goes and enters the toilet and finishes her business and goes back. A young girl who's not afraid. I know during the last the e- e- e last month, there are uh, some urban dwellers who went home and they were scared. You are telling a small boy, and you are a grown man. Because you are not used to it. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now imagine if there was Mwangaza and and aone kuna kachui pale there's a leopard there there are some snakes there will she have gone through hallelujah praise the lord that's how the lord leads us and that's why he wants us to trust him amen so uh he said unto them why are you so fearful how is it you have no faith my goodness What is Jesus telling them? He's telling them that you can be like me. You can also speak to the wind. You can also declare to the sea to become. That's what he's trying to say here. You see, he's he's asking, how is it that you have no faith? My goodness, brethren, I don't know if you get this revelation. He knows there is power in what you're going to speak. I going to be affected. Praise the Lord. And what he's trying to tell them is, you are like me. If only you declared, the sea will have been calm. Praise the Lord. Brethren, this year, that's why we are talking about declarations, declarations and decreeing. We have this power. Hallelujah. Can I shock you? When you speak that word, Guess what? Elements, the earthly elements are supposed to respond to that word. Did you know that? Because all this came from the word of God. Hallelujah. So when you say declaring the word, what are you doing? Ah, You are giving them instruction that they have been hearing and they're going to respond. That's number one. Number two, Angels are waiting. They're waiting on you like this. You speak something, they do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have got all these resources at our disposal. 
So never be discouraged when you go back home and you need to get a wage of that day. When you go back home and you are hearing the landlord is moving around, the, uh, knocking doors and asking, where is the rent? Yeah? Yesterday was fifth, today is sixth, where is the rent? Don't be fearful. Rather, continue doing what you know. Praise the Lord. Declare and decree in the midst of failure, in the midst of utter disappointment, in the midst of embarrassment. Continue doing what you, what you, have been, what you know how to do by speaking what you believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you getting something this evening? Hallelujah. And, the, and, and in verse 41, something very funny here. And they feared exceedingly. Remember he had told them, why are you so fearful? And here again, they feared exceedingly. Now, not because of the, of the storm, but because of Jesus now. <laughs> and said one to another, what manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey him. They didn't realize. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't realize even them. They are as him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many of times we are looking up to God and ask God, where were you? Where were you when my brother uh, got in an accident? Where were you when yet you are there? Praise the Lord. You are the representative of Christ. Where were? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember when my, my brother uh, uh, passed away. Uh, my, 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 my wife is a witness. Uh, I was asked, I asked them where is the body, and they showed me the body. Guess what? I went to that body and started praying. <laughs> For me, my faith was another fufuka. <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I went ahead despite what the nurses are looking at me and people are looking at me and say, eh. I, I, I declared, wake up, wake up! I declared, spoke in tongues. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! But even as we are burying him, did I lose faith? No, I continue choosing to trust this God I am serving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he's the one with the, big, with the bigger picture. He's the one, he's like, he's like chess. He knows which, which, which piece to move at what time and which piece to move this way, this way, another piece this way. He knows the strategy he's using. Praise the Lord. Because the ultimate goal is to kill that king of the other side. Sindio, in chess. So, the Lord knows. The Lord knows what needs to happen at what time, who needs to be where at what time. So, what are we supposed to do is for us to just simply get to a position of hearing him and doing what he's saying and declaring what he's saying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, despite uh, Jesus uh, again declaring and nullifying the contrary uh, situation. That's what you need to do. After you've declared and something contrary happens, you continue declaring that which you believe. Praise the Lord. Even if that thing which is ahead of you looks so real. Hallelujah. Remember there are symptoms. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Hmm. Hallelujah. It is appearing. Appear it has appearances. But when you declare, it fizzles out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, this, this, this is my, 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 my wisdom to you. That when you declare, you face contrary issues. Declare again. Consistently continue declaring what you believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Something happened again to, to, to Jesus and his team. Now, when they reach on the other side, because <laughs> many times you might, you might think, um, we go to the other side, we're going to refresh, we're going to relax, we're going to have fun, okay? Yeah, because we have reached the other side. <laughs> Hallelujah. But what happened to them? In the next chapter, chapter 5, <laughs> they got a reception like no other. <laughs> Hallelujah. They got a reception like no other. Mm-hmm. Njamame pagawa ando huyo anakimbia kwa Yesu. Can you imagine? After all that has happened, Nabado na stepped in, onto the land, Nabado, kazi iko. <laughs> Hallelujah. Njama Pagawa, a possessed man, came running to Jesus. So, okay. 
I want you to look at this picture. When you see a madman running to you, <laughs> uh, what is your natural instinct? I know for the ladies, they'll take off or scream. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know one time, I think I've said it before here. There's one time I was uh, walking uh, somewhere. Hallelujah. And it has happened both in Mombasa and also in Nairobi. Yeah, but, but the one in Mombasa was so, so, so funny. Let me talk about that one in Mombasa. I was walking in Mbeteari. Just walking. And uh, I think I had, um, we had I'd gone to town to buy some things. So I was preparing myself to go to uh, Buxton uh, for, for evening service at GCC. So I walked over. I wanted to go to the stage so I can pick a matatu and just go to Buxton. Okay. So when I was just walking like this, I saw a madman harassing a lady. Really harassing a lady. And those, by, by those who were around him, around her, well, eh, eh, they were trying to, to chase him away, but the guy was strong. Eh? He was a strong madman and very rough with rusters and everything. Okay? <laughs> and he was harassing this lady, trying to hold his, her bag, I don't know what, pushing her. So, when the guy saw me, when I had reached that, that place, the guy looked at me like this, the bag he was holding, left it down, and said, Ni where, where? took off running. In the opposite direction. So, so everybody's wondering, what manner of man is this? <laughs> Praise the Lord. That 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 uh, that madman, the demons in him saw the God in me. Hallelujah. That darkness in him saw the light in me. Praise the Lord, brother. I'm reminding you again. You are you are carriers of light. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That guy took off. I didn't have the, the enough strength and because I think I was fasting also that day. I didn't have that uh, even to the knowledge of chasing after him. I let him go. But when now I'm standing at the stage and everybody's looking at me. What man of man are you? What want to rock away from you? People are about to, to, to shinda. Where, where, by your mere presence, people are running away from you. Who are you? Anyway, nobody had the courage to ask me and me. I went, I went to church and had a good time. Praise the Lord. So this is what happened in ch- chapter 5. And they came over unto the other side of the sea into the country of the Galdarins. And when he was come out of the ship, that's Jesus, immediately, immediately, they met him out of the tombs, out of the cemetery, out of the Makaburini Apo, a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him. Imagine, he's that strong. No man could bind him. So he was, he was freely walking around there. Uh, no, not with chains. Can you imagine even chains? He could break those chains. Nobody could tame him. See the way you can, you can put, it, put under control a mad person? Nobody could do that. Because because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. Can you imagine? If this is somebody known, come by you go, wild. Wild. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. That's what the d- devil can do to you. Uh, don't give yourself to the enemy. He is, the devil hates you with a passion. Don't think, ah, if, if I don't trouble the enemy, I won't be troubled. He will trouble you. Oh. Uh, there is no truth between the, between the enemy and you. You are in the, in, in the kingdom of light. is in the kingdom of darkness. Please, don't be a compromising Christian. Hallelujah. Somebody said the best uh, defense is offense. Instead of waiting and trying to put strategy on how you're going to handle a demonic attack, hey, be on the offense. Go out there and deliver people from, 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 from devils and demons. Dispossess them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And always, uh, sorry, in verse 6, but when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran. That's what I was saying. 
This man ran. Now you can imagine what the disciples were trying to do. Hey? He's running towards them. But Jesus held his ground. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And this man, when he reached Jesus, what did he do? He worshipped him. Imagine. This wild guy worshipped Jesus. He recognized who Jesus is. Hallelujah. And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus? Thou son of the most high God, I adjure you by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. If you continue on, you realize that that, that, that unclean spirit was just that one, not, not just one, there were many. And their name was Legion. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What am I trying to show you here? That when you are making declarations and decreeing, certain things will come your way that are contrary. One, things that will want to stop you and to, to, to show you that it is not possible for you to do what uh, you have been decreeing. Praise the Lord. You have overcome, overcome them by consistently decreeing. Hallelujah. And then the next one, Kazi Ambao Hukutarajia. Unexpected work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't believe they knew there is this man on, on the other side. Okay? Praise the Lord. Unexpected work. Sometimes uh, you may uh, pursue things the way you, you, you think in your finite mind, yet God is leading you somewhere because of the work you're supposed to do. Praise the Lord. And that's why you need to be open and trusting him. Hallelujah. Yeah, maybe in the course of this year you may be told uh, we are transferring you from to, uh, to 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 Eldoret or Kisumu. Uh, to to I want, I want I want you to uh, manage our business there. Um, uh, you are no longer in Nairobi. Go there. Uh, don't fight it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Unless in a spirit you feel it's malicious. Unless in a spirit you feel it is wrong. Yeah, yeah. But if you, are, you have peace, that's why it's important to walk with God. So you can differentiate between that which is not yours, that which is yours. Praise the Lord. But if you have peace, go there. Hallelujah. There is greater work for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, there is a, a friend of mine who was told uh, to go to uh, Pokot from Nairobi. And he was so much used to Nairobi. Uh, he was an urban person. Even he was brought up uh, uh, he was a town boy. He was a what was it called? Bon town. He was a, he was a bon town kind of a person. So Pokot is a very harsh place. <laughs> I've been there. I've been working there so I know. Okay? And uh, he was told to go to Pokot and to start their business there, a branch. And he might start. Not even you, you continue with it. So yeah, yeah. Akasama Sawa. God gave him peace and he went. Nakanza. Polopole too. At first it was very hard because people are not used to that kind of uh, business, the merchandise. But he went on. And as you as he went on um, uh, praying, because he was a, a believer, a strong believer, he is a strong believer. And as he was praying, the Lord showed him uh, certain things he needed to do. Okay? So he could go to the market and uh, with some of those items and just explain to those uh, uh, mamas and the, and the waze. Uh, about those items in a simple way. How, how they're going to use it, uh, how it's beneficial to them. Simple, simple things. So, uh, he opened a, a, a shop in uh, Makutano. Makutano is like, uh, in Kapenguria, is like the most civilized uh, place in Pokot. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm saying things I know because I've been there. And, uh, and uh, at first, the staff he was given, he was given two staff who are locals. Huh? Uh, they are very, they are very um, doubtful if he is going to get any business. So he started off, and uh, the first week no sale. Okay, so things were already getting heated up because pressure was coming from Nairobi. What are you doing? We need to see something. Even if one merchandise goes, that will be something. I continue believing God. Uh, as he went on, the land, the landlord, akaona, eh, hey, uwa uzi, na kuna rent na uh, na mgojia. Akamuliza, are you sure you're going to pay for this? Because people didn't know about the, that company, so they thought it is his. Are you really sure you're going to pay for this? 
uh, the man said, yes, I'm going to pay. No, 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 we can't, we can't handle you here. So by the 15th of that month, he was thrown out. Can you imagine? Contrary things. Okay? So he went to another building. Now, a funny thing is this. That building was in like in a, in a back part of Makutano. Okay? So it, was, it wasn't very favorable. But he got it and entered. Even the staff were not willing to go with him. So he had to get other staff. Hallelujah. That's how things can go wrong. But if you continue believing, Kumbuka he had peace. He prayed and God gave him peace. So I know he didn't, he didn't bring me this far to fail. Hallelujah. He got other, he got other uh, staff, two other staff. Now, uh, the shock was on them because they, uh, there was a road being uh, constructed and that road passed right in front of them. Praise the Lord. But at the back side, there was a road constructed. Amen. And it, took, it didn't take long. After just like, um, I think two months, the road was there. Two months. Because it was a short distance. Now, nobody knows why. Because there was no industry that side. A road was, uh, road passed there. And uh, he was diligently going to the market and showing people things. To talking to them. The chief took interest. Went to him. I started telling him, uh, this thing, if you believe in these products, can you be able to uh, talk with Waze about our letter, Kwako? Yes. So he used to have meetings in that office, that small shop. Eh? He, used to, he arranged a way for the people to come and be, and be told about. Uh, so he, be, he became like a, 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 a trainer. Hallelujah. And this time I'm looking at him because now these ones are new. They don't know what's going on. They just said, Tis me kazi, okay, to kendele. Now imagine for a whole, uh, almost three months, there was, there was minimal sales. He had sold a, a few things here and there. Most of, mostly people from Nairobi coming and they're seeing the company. They know the company they're buying. Okay. Um, to cut the long story short, by the fourth month, uh, he was summoned to the DC's office. And the DC told him, these products are needed in Alela, 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 Alela the, the northern part of uh, Pokot. Uh, they, there is a, a problem that you've encountered there. A certain um, condition has come up. I don't know whether it was, I can't remember the condition. Something. Uh, and there's some sort of an epidemic there. These products are needed there. Faithfully, he didn't know whether, how he's going to be paid. He received the LPO, processed the, the orders, uh, got more supplies from Nairobi, sent them. His boss in Nairobi is asking, Are you sure you're going to make a sale? Are you sure they're going to pay? We know about government. Are they going to pay? He told, he told the boss, yes, I have faith they're going to pay. He dispatched the products. Tell the long story short, uh, the, the tycoon, there was a tycoon in um, in uh, uh, this side of East Pokot. Eh? There was a tycoon who um, had a lot of cattle there and, uh, and he heard about uh, the Alela project. He went there. He saw what was happening. He told the DC, uh, let me pay for this. And I need more in his pocket. To, to, to go now to the end. This shop became the main distributor line for the east, uh, the, the western part of Kenya. And the products are all over from Turkana all the way down to Nyanza. Praise the Lord. Why? Because somebody chose to believe. Hallelujah. There's a reason why I'm, I'm not saying what product or what company. Yeah. You understand that. Yeah? Yeah. But right now as we're speaking, this man is a regional manager. Regional. He used to be a, a, a clerk in Nairobi and he was told to go and set up. He could have easily said no more. He, uh, Let me look for another thing to do. But he's now the regional manager. Managing, in fact, they are about to start export business now. They are now to export to uh, to Uganda, to Congo. Hallelujah! Sometimes it needs you as a believer to trust in God, and God is will be strong in your on your behalf. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. This work of delivering this man was not in their in their in their calendar. Huh? Hallelujah. As much as right now you what you're declaring and what you're saying is navigating you towards a big job that you didn't even know about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The thing that it either is going to kill you or raise you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because Jesus stood his ground. So his disciples were, were looking. In fact, the disciples know him. The ones who had come with him, the other little ships, ships they're looking, eh, to you, Jamata Mgonga, who you, who you, who you, Jamata Mgonga, man. Imagine, they're looking at him because he was a known uh, wild man. But Jesus stood his ground and what happened? There's victory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, there is a lot in store and waiting for you. If only you are persistent. You are consistent. This year, don't let anything distract you. Hallelujah. Don't let anything distract you from that which God is telling you to do. Amen. And you shall receive benefits. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is what I had in my in my spirit to share with you. I, I hope you have gotten something. And there are many other instances which I, uh, because of time, let not go in there. I know that I get another opportunity, God willing, to, to share with you more. But this is the message from the Lord that uh, despite uh, contrary situations and circumstances, stick there. Be consistent. Continue saying what you are saying. Continue speaking what you are believing. Hallelujah. And the Lord's victory is on your side. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Let your word, Lord, bring fruition to our faith, to our understanding, to our knowledge. So that even as we step out in faith, declare and decree, Let's realize that you are a faithful God. Let's realize we have heavenly backup. Let's realize we are not alone. Let's realize that despite those who are around us, discouraging us and speaking ill of us, there is a whole angelic host which is backing us up, which is on our side. Lord, I speak encouragement to each and every individual who has been discouraged already in the beginning of this year. I speak, Lord, an opening of their spiritual eyes to see where you're taking them, Jehovah God. For those who have been downtrodden already, I speak a lifting up. A lifting up, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus. For those who have been declaring, I am not sick. I am not, I, 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 I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. And right now, they are seeing symptoms. They are experiencing symptoms. They are in hospitals. I speak your healing, Lord, upon them. In the name of Jesus. Those who are in a difficult situation, financially, I speak a meeting of every need in their lives, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.